I know that I can I can be a part of films that have serious characters or characters that are not using um, sensuality as part of the character. Only I know what I've gone through and only uh, and my husband knows or my team knows. They've been right by my side uh, through this entire journey. So many different things that I wanted to do in different films but it just didn't come true because um, of the different people that I've worked with and what they, their requirements were different. I earned to be in this film. I auditioned for this. Someone said, yes, you are good enough to be in this. Sunny, it is so lovely to see you in Cannes. Thank you. Uh, you know, there's a lot of actors here, but you're here with a film. Yes. <laughs> and that's a very special honor. Uh, what are you thinking? What's going through Look, your I head? have goosebumps. You gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> I have severe anxiety. Um, not in a bad way, but just that, you know, it's my, obviously it's my first time here. And to be here with a purpose and a mission, um, to be here with a film is beyond my wildest dreams. It's so wonderful though. Yeah, it is. You know, Anurag told me that he actually hadn't seen any film of yours, but he had seen your interviews. Mm. And he said that you have such strength and, and sort of, so sweet. He said, oh, I, I, I just, I, I've just seen the interviews. Right. And, and, and he then he called you in for an audition. And I yes. love that you did not say, well, I've been doing this for a long time. You did the audition. Oh yeah, no way. I think it's, I think it's a good thing to do when you're, you know, want to be a part of film, part of a film and a director says, I need to make sure that you'll fit this role and not just guess. <laughs> um, so I respected his, his choice and him asking and I thought it was a great idea to, you know, do the audition. Of course, I was scared and you said um, it was like the worst exam of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Exam, yeah, it sort of was like an exam because I walked in and Raul was there and then Anurag sir was there and then the entire office was there <laughs> sitting there. I was like, oh shit, what am I into? Uh, what did I get myself into? But um, I really wanted to prove myself. I really wanted, um, I wanted to be Charlie. And um, we did the audition, as scary as it was. And then this is, I think, the most nerve wracking part is he turned around and he said, he goes, you know, I think you fit into this part. I think you can be Charlie. I'm, I'm confident about that. But what about you guys? And I was like, oh my gosh. And then he went one by one <laughs> through everyone. So I think that was a little bit But scarier. they all liked you. Yes, yes. They, nice, yeah, nice. I got lucky. <laughs> you know, Sunny, for, you've been doing Indian films for now, what, 10 years, yeah, right? 10 years. And most filmmakers sort of lean into your sexual allure, right? Yeah. That's how they see you. What was it like for you to have a filmmaker who's seeing something beyond? Because he spoke to me about how he sees the sadness in your eyes, how he sees death. Right. What was that like? Um, it was really nice, obviously, to get this phone call. But over the last, I'd say, two years, uh, the films that I've been shooting um, that are about to come out are in a completely different zone and this is obviously one of those films and uh, we went myself and my entire team or in our office we went through this you know discussion of like let's be a little bit more picky or let's discuss this and how are we going to not necessarily come out of a zone of being sexy I can't help it this is why that's what I look like. It's part of the package. But um, along with that package, I know that I can, I can be a part of films that have serious characters or characters that are not using um, sensuality as part of the character. Of course, even the character Charlie, she is beautiful. She's glamorous. She's sensual. She's all those things. Um, but it's about the way it's shot. Um, so I think that uh, I hope everybody likes the character. Yeah, it's also about the way it's used in the narrative, right? Right. Um, it's, it's the depth that you see in her and, and, and the backstory that you imagine. We don't know her backstory, but, but it's, it's the way you played her. You said this was very, very difficult to do. 
There were a few different characteristics and a few things. First, the difficult part was that I wanted to, in my mind, um, meet up to the mark of some of the people that he's worked with and the actors that he's worked with. So that that is difficult in itself. And the other thing was he's very secretive and I had to literally pull teeth to get as much information about the character, about the story, about the script. He would not give me the full script. Um, and they were very secretive. You <laughs> so never had was, the full script. Yeah, that was also a little bit difficult. And then um, he gave me a basic storyline of, of what it was and that was you know, that's what I went by. And then he gave me a brief of the character and what he wanted and certain mannerisms that um, part of it is that laugh right at the end of that trailer. Um, that it was something that I've never done before and a director has never asked me to do certain things. Either I had to come up with them um, or ask in like so many different things that I wanted to do in different films but it just didn't come true because <laughs> Um, of the different people that I've worked with and what they, their requirements were different. But this was nice to be able to say, okay, you're going to embrace this characteristic that he wants. And every single place I went, I was practicing to be Charlie. I'd be sitting in a car, I would be on set, I would be in between a shot, or we would be shooting a song and all of a sudden, you know, I would try and practice these things so that by the time I got on set, it was out of my system. <laughs> and it would be so second nature. Even now when I'm with um, my crew, um, we'll talk about Charlie and we'll talk about the film and then I'll do a couple of things and they'll all laugh. So That's it was so fun. Lovely. It was nice to be able to pull out of this comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. You know, Sunny, I was just thinking about um, what an incredible journey you've had, right? You, you've talked in interviews about how when you first started in the adult entertainment industry, you said you got death threats. And here you are at the most prestigious film festival in the world. Yeah, I'm crying. With, <laughs> with a movie. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's beyond. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Um, coming to India, being a part of Big Boss, being part of films, people saying so many awful, horrible things, um, trying to push past those things, look at the positive, trying to break barriers or break people's um, stereotypes they have of me or what I'll be like or who I am. And um, I earned to be in this film. I auditioned for this. Someone said, yes, you are good enough to be in this. and. Um, through all the craziness and all the the good times too, all the amazing moments and all the crazy, um, I'm here and it's the most amazing. I was telling you, I'm trying so hard for the last few weeks not to just bawl my eyes out everywhere. Even landing here, um, it just pulling into the hotel, I'm like, okay, hold it together, Sonny, hold it together, because only I know what. I've gone through and only, uh, and my husband knows or my team knows. They've been right by my side uh, through this entire journey. So it's definitely not been easy and it's been amazing. And now it's just, you know, cherry on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. Yeah. How lovely. But you know, I remember, Sunny, I remember interviewing you in, I think it was 2012 um, for Jism 2. I remember you and Arno there, we had done a joint interview. and. What struck me was how smart you are. Thank you. <laughs> no, really, that was my first takeaway. And I'm, I'm not proud of this, but I also went in with those preconceived notions, right? Right. And I walked away thinking, oh my God, this is a really smart woman. I remember you told me about how you run your own production company and you're making movies. Yeah. And, you know, so I feel like We've just seen so much more of that and which is why even somebody like Anurag, when he, he saw you talk in interviews, he was like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, tell me, do you feel that Kennedy might be the one to sort of tip the scales now? Um, I hope that, you know, after people watch the film that they'll enjoy it and um, I'll get to do more films where I get to explore myself and I get to be something that I haven't before and um, I, I really do hope that 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 happens so we'll see my fingers are crossed 
<laughs> you know what's amazing about you though that apart from being an actor and of course a mom you're also an entrepreneur you also have the beauty line how do you sort of balance between so much uh, there's no option <laughs> when there is no option <laughs> you figure out how to do it do you um, enjoy being an entrepreneur i do i think that we all when we work in entertainment we should try and figure out what are we going to do besides the film what are we going to do instead of the television show or um the photo shoots and all these things and where does it go after all of it fades away and it does eventually fade away and what are you going to do and what what's going to happen so i think and especially as a woman i think that that weighs heavy on on people's minds like okay what am i going to do when my beauty decides to go south instead of staying you know where it should <laughs> um and the cosmetic line i am extremely passionate about and i look forward every single time we come out with something new or any time that we have like new products or testing of things um it's very very exciting for me and i have my husband's a really good businessman so i get to do the creative sides and he does the business side and between us speaking about what we're going to do and how we're going to move things forward um we work really well together so do you despite you know all these years of sort of great success are you very practical when it comes to the business i mean you're talking about beauty going south that's not something many <laughs> female actors are willing to acknowledge yeah, no it does <laughs> um, and and you can only poke and punch you know do all this stuff to yourself and it just doesn't look right anymore we've seen plenty of you know uh different different things that people do to themselves that everything doesn't look right anymore um but i i think that we have no choice but to to acknowledge have, that face it have like somebody saying listen what are you going to do in your future what what's the plan how are we going to um what are your passions in life or what are the things that you really like to do because if we're going to talk about the business side of the entertainment industry it is now's the time now's the time to uh fulfill whatever your passions are or fulfill you know whatever your dreams are and work towards creating something amazing or meaningful whether that's in philanthropy or whether it's in business or whatever it is because at the end of the day you have to figure out what it is that you love yeah. and are you uh, of course you're very excited but are you feeling the pressure of that red carpet yeah i have severe anxiety <laughs> um <laughs> reading severe really? um and it's not that i've not been on a red carpet before i think that it's because this just means something so much more the feelings behind this particular film the feeling that it's been chosen by such a prestigious uh you know group of juries and that it made it and they appreciated it and said yes we want your film to be a part of the festival um so it just means so much more so then yes the anxiety is there and something what I, that i find um i might sound very odd but some of the things that the people ask the very first question they ask is what are you going to wear i'm like i don't know i'm going to wear clothes i am i promise i will wear clothes and get <laughs> i just don't know what it is and you know there's always this requirement from somebody that it should be like this or like that and my main goal through this whole process is to retain as much of me and who i am and how i feel i should feel beautiful and not what other people think i should wear and i think and i hope that that comes across like that translates that okay that's something we know is in sunny's comfort zone and she feels great and you know I know that if I feel great in what I'm wearing I'm going to be confident so Absolutely yeah. and good for you. It's yeah. very difficult I think for some people they have feel so much pressure and I feel like you can feel that pressure because you're like don't forget to be who you are the reason that you're there is because of who you are. So that was something I had a very serious conversation with my stylist who we hired here. And are you also hoping Sunny to you know take a meetings potentially look at 
other projects. This is, you know, it's 20,000 people, 25,000 people who are all in the movie business. It's yeah. incredible. My plan is not to sleep for the entire week. And if I can meet as many people as possible um, and still figure out how to look nice on red carpet, that's what I'm doing. Um, my plan is to absorb as much information, as meet as many people as possible, try and I'm a little bit of an introvert. I know it's hard to believe <laughs> when you work in entertainment, but I'm a little bit shy when I don't know, like, know the people around me. So that will be a little bit difficult, but I'm ready. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm gonna say hi to everyone. Even if they find me annoying, I'm gonna go say hi to everyone. <laughs> I love it. That's exactly the right attitude. Yeah. And why not? Make the most of it. Yes. Absolutely. And listen, you have three young children, so sleep is probably not something that you get a lot of. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah. Although they're really good kids, but still. <laughs> but still, yeah. they're young, they're yeah. young. Well, have a wonderful festival and congratulations Thank again. Thank you so much. It's Thank so you. lovely to see your enthusiasm and your joy at being here. And so. I'm happy to start with you. You're my first interview and I know I think I'm your last for this trip. Yes. Um, yes. So I'm happy that I got to start it with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been watching FC at Cannes 2023 in association with travel partner Air France. Smartphone partner Google Pixel, beauty partner L'Oreal Paris, media partner NDTV and travel trend partner Skybags.